Now, if you've ever suffered a headache inhaling fumes from your commercial cleaning products, you may be interested in the growing trend for chemical-free cleaning. To explain what's in your household spray and why Granny always knew best when it came to dissolving grime, our in-house scientist joins forces with dirt's biggest enemy. Please welcome Dr Emily Grossman and Kim Woodburn. <laughs> Lovely to see you both. Kim, you're very welcome. Emily, welcome. Um, so, cleaning products like these, we all have them under the sink or whatever. What's in them? Well, the average household contains between sort of five and 20 litres of toxic chemicals, and most of those are in these cleaning products. Mm. Now, we're not saying there's anything wrong with using those products if you use them correctly, but it is worth knowing what's in them and what the risks are. And those things that are in them are? Exactly. So most of them contain acids and alkalis, because acids and alkalis dissolve grease and dirt and grime. But the important thing is how strong they are, because the strength gives you the risk. Mm. So, for example, something like limescale remover, that usually con uh, contains hydrochloric acid. Now, acid reacts with the alkaline lime scale neutralizing it and dissolving it so it gets rid of the lime scale but hydrochloric acid is a strong acid which means it's corrosive to human tissue so if you spill it on you it could burn you right. or if you swallow it it could burn your inside so don't eat it don't no. drink it and don't spill it on yourself <laughs> exactly right. carpet and upholstery cleaner now now this is a particularly nasty one it contains um perchloroethylene called perk which is dry cleaning fluid and naphthalene mm. now perk is an organic solvent which means it dissolves um oils and fats that come from animals and plants but we have oils and fats in our skin so if you mm. get it on your skin it could be an irritant and equally if you inhale it. And naphthalene is a really nasty chemical as well. In its concentrated form, it can cause headaches and nausea and dizziness. And it's in mothballs. It is. It's yes. old-fashioned mothballs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Window cleaner. So window cleaner contains ammonia, which is an alkali in its liquid form, mm -hmm. and that dissolves grease. Um, and it also contains isopropanol. But the thing with ammonia, again, because it dissolves grease, it can dissolve fats in your hands, so it can be irritant. Right. OK, now, alongside you, to your right hand, we have right. the alternative. Lime scale remover, then. Let's tackle that one first, Kim. Right, Here right. you are. You've got everybody's right. bath tap. Now, you gave me two taps today. They got yeah. them from the reclamation yard. They yeah. were gross. <laughs> <laughs> and I clean this one with vinegar. I'll turn it round. So that's just vinegar? Yep, that's just vinegar. And they... Look, and that's... St that's the difference, yeah. This one, all the chrome's coming off this. Normally they get them, so they sell them to bath people and they, they re-chrome them. Yeah. But that's what I did with vinegar and it was like that. Right, so what, how I, do you, you just literally... All I did was, uh, it's simple, take some paper, scrunch it round it, my love. So that's your paper towel? Paper towel. Yeah, or loo roll. I, just, or, I pour yeah. a bit on, my love, soak it right through, I'd wrap it right round the whole thing. I'd leave that for about two hours, it's rotten. Yeah, really? <laughs> it's a really bad one, actually, hasn't that? will bring it off like that. That is amazing. Well, it is amazing. Right, the right. next thing I'm going to do is... Descaling a decanter. Yeah, now, right. decanters, you know, you can't scratch them inside. When you see these things people put inside, you go, oh, no, clanking about. Yeah. All you do is, my love, cheap white or brown rice, cheap as you can get your hands on. Get your dry rice in there. There you are. I'm going to empty I shall need right. that. I shall all be revealed. <laughs> and all I do is, my love, it, it, vinegar is just a blessing. Now, it's cold vinegar. vinegar. for everything here, isn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> I tell you something, years ago, it's all they had, my love. That's all you <laughs> yes. had. Well, what were you going to do? Well, that and the salt right. to go on your chips. Yeah. Oh, always your chips. And the vinegar, my love, the yeah. vinegar. Yeah. All right, so off you, we go. So it's covering all up All I'm going to do, honestly, this is as simple as this. I'm going to juggle it round, darling. Because what happens is, the rice is very gentle. It's gentle and it's getting all the... Oh, I hope it's getting all the... Yes, it is getting all the stain off. It's not doing any harm. Harmless old rice. I think that's good. Tell us what it's doing chemically here, Emily. So the vinegar is yeah. um, no. it's an acid, like hydrochloric acid, yeah. but it's oh, a yeah. natural acid and it's much weaker and therefore much safer. You know, as you said, you can have it on your chips. Yeah. So it's doing the same job as limescale remover, which is dissolving the alkaline limescale on the taps, and equally the same job as other acids, which is dissolving the grease inside the decanter. Yeah. And all the rice is doing is acting like little scrubbing brushes right. and lifting up, up the bits of dirt and grease as it goes round. Right. So lifting I it off really the really my love. Should have been it a few times, but for the purpose of tally, I haven't got the time. Yeah. So, yeah, because you don't want to leave any vinegar in if you put in your finest no, claret yeah. in now there. Now, you see, honestly, it needs vinegar, but look at that. Yeah, yeah it's clean and as it a was whistle. terribly dirty. Wonderful. Honestly. And with uh, the, I should read it fast, Emily, there, mm. very briefly, the lime scale on there with the vinegar, it's doing the same thing. That's alkaline, it's lime. The lime scale is alkaline. And the acid and is the eating acid it out. It's reacting with it, neutralising it, which then dissolves it. So it's doing two different things on the alkaline and on the grease. It dissolves the grease directly. Right. Next one. Next one. If you've got it, my God, uh, well, I don't know why. Grubby carpet. If you've got a grubby your... carpet with that... Right, I was going to say... <laughs> this is wrong, gone wrong. 
if you have a carpet that hasn't got any marks on it, but it's not fresh, so they've overdone it here. So, it's <laughs> no, so you think, I'm going to freshen it. It smells, you've had a party. All you do, my loves, is bicarbonate of soda, baking powder. It, it kills smells. You can get on your hands and knees, you can rub it in with a broom. Just do that, my loves, just do nice. that. OK? Yeah. And then you'd leave that, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes, an hour. It's not going to harm. Then you'll go up, my loves, and you'll vacuum it off. And it okay. makes your carpet smell better. And I'm telling you, I bet. No, I'm not very here. Yeah. <laughs> you see, honestly, already, look, look. Oh, it is quite sweet. No, it isn't is. It? it gets you to the pongs. And I'll tell you what, for an extra treat, if you vacuum it off, pongs have gone. You then can get potpourri, grind it up, and you can spread it all over and vacuum that too. You've got a nice smell. Now, I've got to be quick because I'm dying to do this one. Well, you're excited. Only, you have got to be now, quick. Copper, copper, copper. Yeah. Oh, people, I don't want copper pans. I hate cleaning them. They're absolutely awful. This one's very dirty. And I'm going to show you a tissue, my loves. A tissue, there you go. I'm going to show you how quick all this is. So this is a copper look. pan. You've got vinegar look. and salt. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm not tricking. This is my pan at home. I got it dirty for two days to bring it here, and I want it back to my milk pan. Okay, right. Now, salt and vinegar clean it off right away. And I don't know how filthy your pan is. You would rinse that in water to get all the salt and that off it, and then dry it and put it away. No trickery. Honestly, that's how quick it is salt to clean a copper pan. It's the, the reaction thing. between the chemicals. It's the copper oxide which is making the bottom of the pan go dull. Yeah. The vinegar and the salt react with the oxide bit, grab it away and leave behind the copper. Now, now, you now you're going to clean windows. Oh, now look here. <laughs> windows, you know, loves, since I was a little child, 20 years ago, shut your faces, no. Um, <laughs> A couple of caps of vinegar in warm water, you know, and off we go. Honestly, vinegar... This has, vinegar has, does everything, doesn't it, really? Well, that's all we <laughs> had. Acid, that's all you need. That's all you used that to have, presumably, Kim, that was why. years ago, yeah. my loves, that's yeah. all. Is that on the back? Oh, yes, it probably is. But look, I'm going to show you, the cloth is dirty. Oh, my God, look at look that. Look at that. But now, good old my grandma, bless you, very tiny little thing, and she's, she'd go like that with it, just all newspaper, love newspaper, and off we go, and we dry it with newspaper. The other side is also very dirty, and I'm wondering if I can quickly do the other side so we're not cheating on anybody. Oh, look at the blacky, dirty devils. And look, <laughs> <laughs> it's been but terrible grandma, weather lately. Yeah. And, a, and a quick tip, my loves, a quick tip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 12 windows <laughs> in here. <laughs> now, I know I'm doing these awfully quickly, yeah. and they don't have mess them up in the studio, so they give me a terrible job to do. But look at that, my loves, honestly. Very clean, isn't it? I'm not going to, cos I... I now, now look. And if you get streaks? Now, streaks. Oh, girls and boys. Very like quickly. Now, ho clean the inside horizontally and the outside vertically. So if your streaks vertical, it's outside, isn't it? And the inside horizontally, because people keep nipping outside the doors and go, where is it? So inside horizontally, outside vertically, you think, you know that'll be outside because it's vertical. And there's no scientific answer to that. <laughs> My thanks to Dr Emily Grossman and to Kim Woodburn. Thank you both. <laughs> Thank you, Kim.